Excuse me, little dog. Yes. Oh. Hi, guys. It is a lovely moonlit but chilly night here in the collapse of everything at Bugs in a Jar Farm. It is an exciting Saturday night where once again, uh, what a surprise, I am sitting alone with my little dog on Saturday night talking to myself and a few of my imaginary friends out there in cyberspace. But this is the final rant from Bugs in a Jar Farm in 2023. This is the final little slice of Doomer porn uh, before Sancho and I head off to warmer climbs while we still can and beat old man winter who is breathing down our necks. So uh, I just did a rant on sea turtles, uh, which is more just how a doomer reads good news. Uh, so you can go listen to that rant, but uh, this was my previously scheduled rant. I was just going to close with some straight ahead, short and sweet, uh, no shit Sherlock doomer porn from the mainstream media to wrap up uh, summer 2023 at Bugs in a Jar Farm before we head south and figure out what the next six months is going to look like. All right, little dog. But the little dog say goodbye to Sancho Panza. Okay, straight ahead. Short and sweet Doomer porn right out of Reuters News this morning and Yahoo News. This story uh, garnering two comments on a planet of 8 billion people. Two people. And I guess that Humpty Dumpty fellow did not even bother to leave a comment. Take it away, Reuters News. <clears throat> World, the entire planet, world is far off track on pledges to end deforestation by 2030. Wow. Do you think so? Just absolute shocking headline. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> the world is moving too slowly to meet pledges to end deforestation by 2030 <coughs> with the destruction actually worsening in 2022 according to a report by a coalition of environmental organizations released on Monday. Imagine that, that uh, the destruction worse. Uh, more than 140 countries representing the vast majority of the world's woodlands pledged at the 2021 United Nations Climate Summit in Glasgow to halt, to halt and reverse forest loss and degradation by the end of the decade. We all know what button to be pushing right now. Yet, deforestation increased by 4% worldwide in 2022 compared with 2021 when the declaration was signed as some 25,000 square miles otherwise known as 66,000 square kilometers were destroyed. The annual forest declaration assessment report said that means the world is 21% off track to end deforestation by 2030. <coughs> this is Aaron Matson, a senior consultant at environmental group Climate Focus. Quote, 
the world's forests are in crisis, the opportunity to make progress is passing us by. At least she did not mention a closing window of opportunity. Yes. The report was conducted by a coalition of civil society and research organizations who assess progress towards pledges to eliminate deforestation by 2030. That includes the 2021 Glasgow Pledge and the 2014 New York New York D Declaration on Forest, which saw a shorter list of countries as well as dozens of the world's biggest companies make a similar commitment. Yes. Efforts to preserve old growth tropical forests prized for their dense carbon content and rich biodiversity are 33% off with 4.1 million hectares. That's uh, 10 million acres lost in 2022, according to the study. So, old growth tropical, you, you know, the, 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 un, the primary rainforest, uh, 10 million acres obliterated off the face of the planet in 2022. In a news briefing, the researchers involved in the report stressed that the annual $2.2 billion in public funds channeled to projects to pro protect forests every year is a fraction of the investment needed. The study also looked beyond deforestation to analyze forest degradation, with one researcher estimating the area of degraded forest to be much larger than the area of global deforestation. Drivers of forest degradation including building tiny houses, logging activities, livestock grazing, and road construction according to climate focus and then we go into the hopium which I am not going to insult my intelligence or yours with this unadulterated horseshit uh, how uh, we're going to turn this freight train around and save uh, the tropical rainforest. You know, that guy down there in Brazil. We got him on the case. Uh, Jesus, please. The Amazon rainforest, the Congo rainforest, and the Southeast Asia. I mean, rainforests are, are, are doomed, okay? Uh, just kiss tropical rainforest goodbye. Guys, uh, they're going to be degraded and then they're going to be destroyed. Uh, every tropical rainforest on this planet will be obliterated off the face of this planet because of humans. Is there, is there anybody who does not understand this? Okay. Uh, cattle ranching. It is cattle to feed humans. Soybean farming. Soybeans either to feed the vegans directly or soybeans to feed the animals to feed the meat eaters. Uh, 
mining all of this save the planet stuff they're mining uh, to give energy to humans climate change caused by humans there is one way to save the tropical rainforest on this planet that is to make the planet a human exclusion zone there is no other way to save the rainforest than making planet earth a human exclusion zone this is a statement of fact as long as there are humans on this planet the tropical rainforest are doomed this is real rocket science there is no <laughs> there's no there is no head there is no 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 for the tropical rainforest they're, they're they're gone they're doomed kiss them goodbye thank you humans once again so get out there and get down there and enjoy your little eco tour to the tropical rainforest while you still can. Bye guys.